Hello my dear students and friends. Welcome to my session on PLC in 21 days. We are on day 17. Uh, in today's uh, session, we will see about a KitKat vending machine with HMI display. Uh, one more thing I have added, it is a battery powered. I did not use uh, 220 volt power supply and SMPS. Instead, it is a self-contained battery powered setup. This project has uh, three stages, mechanical design part, electronic control part and final validation and deployment. Now let us see the mechanical design part. Always as far as the mechanical design part is concerned, I use the SolidWorks software. So this is the mechanical design part, the entire housing assembly that I have been, uh, that I have made actually, right. Let me hide this one. So inside you can see two 12 volt uh, battery power supply I need the two 12 volt battery power supply because I need two different voltages for HMI I require 24 volt so I connected uh, these two batteries in series then I, I get uh, 24 volt and uh, I connected uh, HMI with the 24 volt power supply as far as uh, but uh, at the same time for this motor and also the PLC board PLC board is here actually I did not show here so for both I require a toll hole power supply and this LED also toll hole power supply. So in between uh, I, I, I tap the power and I got the toll hole power supply. So this is how I made uh, the arrangement for the thing. Uh, let me hide this also. Okay. So this is the KitKat actually. Okay. So as far as this design is concerned 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 KitKats can be placed actually. Now, uh, this is about the mechanical design. Then electronic control part for that I used uh, HMI. So this is the HMI display. This is how it looks. Uh, but it shows uh, six different products can be uh, dispensed. But actually, I have only one setup. I have one, one setup. But parallel if I have uh, five more, even the single uh, uh, HMI can control all the six different products but uh, even though I provided the six thing this will disp dispense only one product called the KitKat okay so if you press this one uh, I will I'll see the offline simulation also now let me press KitKat then it will ask for confirm if I press confirm it will start dispensing after the dispensing is over you have to press exit okay for other thing i did not uh, put any uh, any command for other five products but uh, this i kept it for future expansion so again i repeat the simulation so kitkat you have to select touch the button kitkat so you'll have another screen second screen you have to confirm if you confirm then only dispense otherwise it will not dispense so confirm then it, it starts uh, dispensing it takes uh, nearly five seconds to complete it so after that you can press exit you got it so that is the thing for this this is the HMI program so uh, input is obtained through M1 in the HMI command now uh, we can see that also now this has been mapped with um, this has been mapped with uh, this uh, this one you know the second screen confirm this is mapped with m1 you see here this is mapped with m1 okay so uh, this is how it has been uh, thing now you see it's a, a bit lengthy program a bit lengthy program but uh, still it uses only 90 steps only 90 steps for one product uh, suppose uh, if 6 products means maybe 90 into uh, let it, it be 100 uh, steps 100 into 6 uh, 600 uh, steps I require that's it ok so accordingly this will uh, think the it is a very simple program only again the point is the M1 is pressed then once it gets the signal from M1 through this one first KitKat to be pressed after that second screen will appear in this from this button it takes the M, M1 okay 
so the m1 is pressed uh, then it starts rotating for uh, one second or so sorry 6.5 seconds or so uh, it won't rotate 6.5 second either 6.5 second or uh, the stopper switch i put one uh, stop sensor uh, whichever occurs first that will be executed the motor will be stopped so the motor will be rotating till 6.5 seconds but before that we will be getting the stop signal once the stop signal is obtained then immediately the motor will be stopped this motor will be stopped this motor will be stopped ok so instead if you use a stepper motor these kinds of uh, timer control is not required precisely we can start precisely precisely we can stop ok let me close this one uh, this is the thing ok now let us see the parts the mech the, these are the parts that I used we have mechanical housing battery with a 12 volt supply for PLC, for PLC and HMI uh, 12 volt DC for DC motor HMI I require a 4.3 inch I used 4.53 inch 4.3 inch uh, HMI I used a 12 volt DC small motor, 10 RP motor, a spring a wide diameter 3 mm, outer diameter 60 mm, pitch 15 to 20 mm, number of turns 20. Uh, but in this particular case, it, I think it is only 8. Okay, 40 number PLC. Now, we saw, see these things in action. Okay, we will see these things in action. Uh, let me go to... my youtube video a product printing machine now you see on the table i am putting there is no power supply it is a standalone unit hmi HMI, this is the PLC board, this is the motor, these are the batteries, the kit cards you can see, 5 kit cards stacked. Ok, let me switch on. There is a switch power switch here. Once the power switch is on, then the setup is on. Now you see the HMI screen. Yeah, the image is uh, somewhat, uh, it is a pixelate image, but you could see the things. Now I am pressing the KitKat now, then confirm, then you see on product, uh, we have one KitKat is dispensed and the LED will be blinking, LED will be blinking. So let me do it once again, first product, confirm. A product is dispensed previously that we had five you know now we have only three you see that so this is how we can uh, make the uh, you can develop something combining CAD and PLC of course with HMI so this is how I made uh, this thing okay so again uh, even if I give all this uh, all the inputs to you you supposed to have the some kun uh, HMI and uh, the software for it. It will be uh, at this point of time it is uh, uh, very difficult for you to get it. So I am not attaching all these things. Okay. You just see that. So, so then you will gain some confidence that yes we can make this kind of product either using PLC or maybe using Arduino also. Even in Arduino you can have a touch screen you can attach a touch screen display uh, you can do some programming right so that's it for today so hope uh, you got some information about uh, a self-contained battery powered uh, product vending machine it can be a KitKat or any other product based on that you have to vary the pitch and the width of the your setup that is the only point okay so subscribe my channel uh, and inform this to others so then they'll also uh, gain uh, some information uh, through my sessions actually thank you